Hey there, so today is another in my makeup uh, therapy series. To be honest, I haven't got a particular, like, something really plaguing me as such. I have had a bit of an anxious moment lately for various reasons. And why not, you know? Um, my idea was autumn colours because it's the end of August, we are going into one of my very favourite seasons ever. I am so pleased. Get rid of the summer. I do not like the summer. Anyway, I had autumn in my in my head and as you see I go from pink to orange to red. We go all over the place. I do two different lips, you know. There is no planning involved in this. <laughs> I'm just going along with a couple of palettes that I want to use and other things that I've gotten out of my drawer and I'm trying my best. That's sort of the point in makeup therapy. I'm doing it to distract myself and have a play and you can't always do every look. This was fun though. So, without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so eyebrows are done as you can see. <laughs> a bit thicker than they normally are. Uh, and eyes are primed, so I'm going to start off with. Now, all my brushes are filthy. <laughs> I really need to do a really good wash. I think that's tomorrow's job. Anyway, so I'm going to use. Urban Decay Glide On uh, Eye Pencil 24-7 Glide On oh, Wow Urban Decay 24-7 uh, Glide On Eyeliner in Rockstar I've had for way too long and I don't normally do this but if you want a dupe because to be honest I'm not spending that kind of money on an eyeliner the Halika Halika Jewel Light Waterproof Eyeliner in 16 is basically the same colour. It's a bit more of a reddy purple tone, but it's basically the same colour. I'm going to use this one because I haven't used it in ages. This is the Urban Decay one, and I'm going to apply. in lines all over the lid and just blend that out you can tell how old this is because I think to be honest it probably needs to go to the bin look <laughs> I think I'm going to switch to the helical one That's on, so now I'm going to use the Sleek uh, Enchanted Forest palette I'm going to use Glass Slipper and that's my blending colour and yes this is a really big eyeshadow brush I told you all my brushes are dirty so now I'm going to use the Enchanted Forest palette again and I'm going to use this burgundy here And I'll use that on a fluffy brush. And this is our crease kind of colour. As I said, pinker than I expected can definitely work with it. So now from the same Enchanted Forest palette I'm going to use this colour here which is more of a russet tone it just makes the whole thing even pinker so I'm just, I'm not using that, instead I'm just going to even up the sides and I've just put it there and we'll leave out of that
I'm now going to use from the Sleep Matte 2 palette this very very dark burgundy just here Now I'm going to use the eyeshadow I'm holding in your face, which is the L'Oreal uh, Colour Infallible Eyeshadow in Burning Black. And that is our lid colour. What I just did there was I took the I Heart Makeup Makeup Geek palette and the matte uh, orange in here and I just went around the perimeter because it was looking not quite what I wanted. It looks much more what I wanted now because I want very ready purple plummy tones for autumn without making it brown. Now I'm taking the Makeup Revolution I Heart Passion palette. But to be honest, this colour is in most Makeup Revolution palettes. And it's this plummy purple here on my finger, middle of the lid, and blend out. It's just got enough contrast to the lid colour itself and enough extra shimmer to make a little bit of difference, which is exactly what I wanted. I'm going to take the. Oh my god, everything itches. <sighs> Helinka Helinka Jewel Light Waterproof Eyeliner in 16. I'm just going to go straight under. Until the I'm going shine. to take the matte orange and a little brush, and I'm being very careful with this. Just under where I've just put the liner and blend. And then the plum burgundy colour from the Sleek Ultra uh, Enchanted Forest palette. And then the Makeup Revolution Eyes Like Angels palette, the bright shimmery orange just up here. On, on, on the first three quarters, I'd say, of my lower lash line. Then I'm going to take the deeper, darker burgundy from the Sleep Matte 2 palette and just darken that up, connect the outer corner. Okay, I wasn't happy, so I've gone over the orange on the lower lash line with Burning in Black. And I've now got Eat Sleep Makeup Repeat palette out again. I'm using that matte, well, it's got silver glitter in, but you can't see it. Matte red. And I'm literally just going round the perimeter has a whole new meaning to the name of the eyeshadow burning black, doesn't it? 
Okay, so that stopped quite suddenly because uh, my mum came in and I was basically done anyway. So basically what I did was off camera I just put on my liquid liner and mascara. I went against lashes today because if I'm honest I just can't be asked. I have not mastered the art of putting eyelashes on. I don't think I ever will and it takes a lot of work to get them on so I have not got the oomph to do it today. Anyway, I didn't do my inner corner highlight so I could do that on camera view before we do my face. It's just all kinds of crazy today. I'm going to actually use a highlighter. I'm going to use Makeup Revolution Vivid Baked Highlighter in Peach Lights. And that's in my inner corner. You know when you expect something to look much brighter than it actually does. Anyway, let's get the face on. Tarte CC Color Clay Primer. And on we go. Uh, Revlon Color Stay. Apparently, I just forgot I was filming. In Ivory for combination oily skin and Freedom Pro Matte Long Wear Foundation. In Ivory 02. And I'm going to use the Real Techniques Buffing Brush again for this. And the best thing I have found with this brush is you don't want a lot on it. It works best with only a little bit. You can see the time and as per normal I'm going to put on concealer and then powder it straight away. So Kiko Natural Concealer in one and then I will um, set it with the MUA powder uh, skin Define Powder Skin Define Hydro Powder I got there in the end Anyway, concealer And now I'm just doing a um, Set the rest of my face using the Hydro Powder I'm using a brush because My powder sponge is dirty all time I'm going to use the Makeup Gallery Color Story Eyeshadow in Cappuccino Blusher I'm going for Makeup Revolution the matte blush in New Rules Real Techniques Blusher Brush Tiniest amount on the brush I can get just enough to add a bit of colour that matches the eyes without overdoing it. Then for highlight I'm going to use Makeup Revolution Vivid Bait Blusher a uh, highlighter in peach lights okay now we do the lips so I'm going to use the barium lipstick in 160 it's in pink because it was limited edition um, but this colour is, they probably have one in the line that's very very similar and uh, Kate 
um, and more London in 107 is very, very also very similar. So on that goes. Then I'm going to top it with the Rimmel London Stay Glossy Lip Gloss in Yours Forever, which is a deep berry colour. I can't bear lip gloss in a day-to-day -day basis because my hair sticks to it, but I'm really enjoying it in looks at the minute. Especially if I pile on lots of it. Is this a suit? I don't know now. I was out drawing! <laughs> it's too bright, isn't it? Fuck. Scrap the outro. Catherine's changed her mind again. Okay, don't mo don't ask. <laughs> We are using Makeup Revolution lipstick in Rebel with Cause. Though I bear in mind I do have a stain left over from the previous lipstick. I think we got a winner. You know, 700 lipsticks later. I now just put Freedom Makeup Lipstick in Pro Lipstick in Pro Now. Anyone else see pronouns when you say Pro Now? Anyway, I've now just put that on top of the Rebel Records, and that has the colour that matches my eyes. <laughs> so shall we try this outro again? That was my makeup therapy based upon the idea of autumn colours. I think I'm probably a little bit everywhere with this in this tutorial but that's the point of makeup therapy I don't go in with a idea or sometimes I don't even go in with a theme I'm just trying you know I can't always yeah you know you, you get me I think I need to shut up now I think what I need to do is shut up take this off because it is like half six on a Sunday evening go figure out what I'm gonna have for dinner and then level my last character on World of Warcraft before Legion drops tomorrow and yes that's all that's on my mind right now if you are a heavy MMORPG player you know what I mean anyway I hope you enjoyed this and until next time, just believe. Bye.